clutter can be super stressful. But then again, so are so many different things, including being too busy, not having enough money, and always being distracted. So these are some ways that I have simplified my life, and you can too. And the last point can even make you some money. Settle for second best. In today's world, we have so many different choices of things to eat, where to go, how to spend our time, what car to buy, what shoes to buy, what show to watch. And sometimes actually making the best decision is not the best decision. See, when we overthink every little decision, trying to pick the exact best one, the best restaurant to go to, the best thing to have for lunch, the best color shirt to wear today, it can a lot of times actually give us decision fatigue. So that when we have those big decisions that are really important, we're kind of tired and worn out at that point. So recently I've tried being okay with not getting the best all the time and just making fast choices on as many things as I possibly can. And I've realized that, well, yes, I might not get the best choice every single time, a lot of times it doesn't even matter. And if you spend two hours worrying about what is the best restaurant to go to, you might be disappointed when you get there as opposed to just taking 30 seconds, picking one going, and then like whatever happens, happens. Obviously this doesn't work in every case, but just stopping sweating all the little decisions in our lives can make our lives a lot more simple. Finish one task at a time. We all know that multitasking isn't really effective and yet we still try to do it pretty much all the time. So whether it's with work or just like cleaning up a room or decluttering or whatever you're doing, try making a conscious effort to not multitask. When you're cleaning up that room, don't stop to get food, don't answer your text messages, don't start watching a TV show. Just focus on one thing at a time, get that thing done and then you can move on to other things. When you narrow down your focus, how long everything takes goes down dr dramatically and also your enjoyment of those tasks kind of goes up and it becomes less stressful because you're not pulled in a million different directions you're like i'm gonna deal with that stuff in 10 minutes i'm just gonna finish this right now i've started doing this recently and honestly uh, it lowered my stress levels a lot because i'd be writing something i'd stop to check email answer a few text messages and then i'd like would go back to it i'd forget what i was writing about it was like this whole thing don't multitask practice digital minimalism so i'm gonna give a few tips here that i've been using personally that have just been super, super helpful for me. Uh, if you are somebody who struggles with spending more time on your phone than you want to, which is most of us, then these tips can really help you. I know that I used to spend way too much time on my phone and still do occasionally. And I realized that if you scroll through whatever you're scrolling through for like an hour, you have zero things to show for it afterwards. And if you're doing that every single day when you wake up or when you're just bored, you'll have all this time that you're spent consuming stuff that you're not producing anything, you're not interacting with anything in the real world. So these tips can really help with that. The first one is to limit your screen time. If you wanna do this, go to settings. You can type in at the top app limits, and then you just select an app that you wanna limit, or you can do categories like social, and then you can just limit it to one hour a day or half an hour or seven hours, whatever you wanna do. You can even start big and just work your way down. And then after you hit that time limit, it's just gonna stop working. Technically, you can go back in and change the settings, but this is a really strong prompt to stop doing what you're doing and, and really just put your phone down. You've used it enough today and instead focus on other stuff. Also, you can turn off your notifications. I've started doing this recently and I absolutely love it. I don't receive notifications for anything besides from a select few people. To do this, if you're on iPhone, you can just pull down the top, hit focus. You can use one of the focuses that they have or create a new one. Then you can silence your notifications that you don't want across all your devices devices, you can share this with your friends. And then when people text you, they'll see that your notifications are on silent so they won't expect a reply right away. You can even schedule this to turn on automatically so that while you're working, your phone's not constantly going off. You can also set it so that just certain people can text you or call you. This is what I do, where I only pretty much receive texts and phone calls from like three people who are family and the rest I will get to later on in the day. For me, this has just been super helpful to not receive phone calls or texts anymore especially while I'm doing stuff so I never break focus. I had a lot of FOMO when I was starting out doing this because I was like, well, what if somebody needs me? Nobody actually needs you. Like, it'll be fine. And those few people who do need you, you can actually give them access to be able to text and call you. And the rest of it can just go away until you're ready to deal with it. Learn from other people's mistakes. I've made 
a lot of mistakes in my life, but I've also avoided a lot of mistakes, mostly because I learn from other people as much as I possibly can, because I'm, I'm just lazy like that. Whether it's reading books or taking classes, investing into your mind and into yourself is, I think, the, the best investment you can make, and that's why I partnered with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes, but they also have hundreds of career-based classes as well. And I know right now uh, with myself and a bunch of other people are trying to move forward in their careers or start a side hustle. And that's where Skillshare can really help you out, make more money, save more money, uh, just be more productive. Honestly, there's just so much great information on there. Right now I'm taking a class by Ali Abdul called Productivity for Creators. I'm a very unorganized person, so uh, this has been pretty helpful for me so far, but it's also a great blueprint for anybody starting a creative uh, side project. This is a great way to get started on that and kind of have a path that you can follow so you don't need to try to figure it out all on your own. If you guys want to check them out, you can jumpstart your 2023 goals with Skillshare's exclusive offer. You click the link in the description for a seven day free trial and then 20% off your first year. Honestly, I think it's super worth it. I've used this myself for years. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The next one is to unsubscribe from everything that you possibly can. There's a really cool tool that I've used that I'll tell you about in a second, but I also do this with social media, YouTube, podcasts, anything where if there's negative stuff or stuff that's just wasting my time, I go through and I unsubscribe. I say, don't show me more of this content. That way, if I'm trying to get into finances, I, I'll follow a bunch of finance creators and I'll get a bunch of content from them. When I'm trying to get into fitness, I'll follow fitness creators, get a bunch of content from them. So the stuff that I see is stuff that's inspiring me to make progress in my life. So if you wanna see more of this, don't forget to subscribe. As far as unsubscribing goes, you can use an app called Unroll.me. I used their app on my phone. It was super simple. They'll just show you everything that you're subscribed to, all those random emails that you're getting constantly, and you can go through, you can decide if you wanna keep receiving stuff from them or if you wanna unsubscribe from them. Uh, and I just spent like 10 minutes and unsubscribed from like 100 different things. So my email uh, went way down how much junk I had to sort through. I would definitely recommend this. It can also save you money if you're not constantly seeing stuff from people you don't want to see stuff from. I'll leave a link to this down below if you want to check it out. Keep your to-do list shorter, like between one and three things. A lot of times when we have 10 things on our to-do list, we won't get done any of them or we won't get done the important ones. Usually there's one to three things that if you get done that day will make a big impact towards getting closer to your goals, actually getting your work done, those things that you know you should do, but instead you do all the little stuff first. You check your email, you return a phone call. You do all the little things to avoid the big things because the big things are the things that you can fail at. So subconsciously, you don't actually want to do them. At least that's what I do. So I started writing down between one and three things on my to-do list for the day and the rest of the stuff I can maybe either have in a subcategory so I don't forget to do them or I just won't write them down and if they don't happen, they don't happen. But I'm not allowed to start those other things until I get my big uh, three done and usually I have a one, like I have the, the first thing that's most important and then a couple other things and that's pretty much it. Every time I generally have like two things to three things that I write down every day and the rest of it I just that's all I write down. This really gives you clarity on what you're trying to accomplish every day. And for me, at least that really simplifies my life. Use the 2X declutter. So if you don't know what this is, it's probably because I just made this up, but it's kind of like the strategy uh, that I use where we took one room and decluttered that room and tried to make a home for everything inside of it. Consequentially, when you have a room that's like decluttered and clean all the time, it's way easier to clean up when like uh, maybe your kid makes a mess or you make a mess. Uh, you can clean it up in like five minutes, which is super super fun and, and way less stressful for me. But then once you declutter and you get it the way you want it to look, put a box next to that room, in that room, or for us, we keep it by the front door. And as things start to build back up, because they will over time, you can get rid of things and put them right in the box to donate, to throw away. And it might also inspire you to, as you're walking through other rooms in your house, grab a few things that you're like, hey, I haven't used this in a year. I forgot I even own this thing what is this, who gave it to me, and you can just put it in the box and, and just get rid of it. Out of sight, out of mind, and you want as many things out of your mind as you possibly can. For me, having a clutter-free home has reduced my stress a lot. I've done a bunch of videos uh, on, uh, on faster ways to declutter and stuff. If you guys wanna check those out, I'll link some below and at the end of this video. But honestly, it's super, super helpful. Start automatically saving and or 
investing. One of the biggest causes of stress for most people and even like divorce is money issues. But it can be stressful to think about. So something that I've been doing for years is making it automatic. So every week or every month, you can automatically transfer money out of your account into a savings account if you're trying to save up for a house or pay off debt or buy a car, just build up an emergency fund, or you can automatically start uh, investing so that every week you're starting to prepare for your retirement or just actually investing and looking for those long-term compound interest. If you wanna do this now, you can download Webull. You can get 12 free stocks for depositing just uh, a penny and you can set up automatic withdrawals and you can start investing automatically with as little or as much as you want and just start to actually make progress towards your goals. There's a link for that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Also for all the people asking, uh, I'll leave a link for this down in the description as well. It's the, the journal that I use.